Hello and welcome to another one of MacDeck Engineering's informative Mastercam videos. I'm Dave Matuzic. I'm the trainer here at MacDeck Engineering. And in this video, I'm going to go over how to make a custom tool library. And I'm going to go down to my Mastercam here. Well, I have a lathe file. And I'm going to face this off. We're going to make a custom tool. Um, and then I'll show you how to make up your own library so you have that tool for future use. So I'm going to go up here to Tool Paths, Face. And I'm going to create a new tool here. And I'll get an insert, one I use all the time. Get a CNMG 432 here. I'll go to Holders and I'll modify my holder. And I'll give this tool a name. I'm going to call it the same name as my insert. CNMG 431. Or 432, I'm sorry. And there's my tool path. And I want to make a custom library so I can come back later and grab this tool. So I'm going to go to my tool paths tab up top here. I'll go to my lathe tool manager. And I'll just click here on a button here that says Create New Tool Library. I'll just click that and give it a name. I'll call it Dave. And hit OK. So now I have a Dave library with nothing in it. And I'll just grab the tool I have here and drag it in there. And there we go. And now let's say it's a little later on in the week and I gotta get that tool again for a different job. So let me just throw some geometry up on the screen here. And we'll do some turning on it. So I'm just going to go to tool paths, maybe rough. And I'll grab that tool we made. I'll just go to Select Library Tool, change my library to the Dave Library, and you see the tool I made right in there. Well, let's make another tool. Make one on the fly here. I want to finish this. So I'll go to Tool Path Finish. Create a new tool, and I'll grab a maybe a DNMG tool. Is it they're in here in order? DNMG 431. Grab a holder with some clearance on it. Like so. And there's my toolpath. Now I could have gone toolpaths, lathe tool manager, and dragged this tool down in here. But there's a way I could have done it as I made the tool. When I was making the tool, the quickest way to add tools to a library is do it as you make them. So I'll just go to my parameters here and change my tool name. And hit Save to Library. Wants to know what library are you going to save that in? I'll just click on my Dave library and hit OK. OK and OK. And you'll see if I were to go to my Lathe Tool Manager, those two tools are in my library. Same thing works for mill. Let me just go change my machine type here to mill. I'll go file new. I'll just draw a rectangle. So I'm going to go to tool paths, contour. And I'll grab a tool from my library. It's my mill inch library. I'm going to edit this tool. I'm going to tell it that this material here, instead of the tool being made out of high speed steel, I bought some carbide end mills. So I'll change that to carbide. Recalculate my speeds and feeds. There you go. I'll do another tool path. And 
let's say I have some specialized tooling here. This tool, uh, this 916th or 964th drill here, rather than 118 degree, it's a 135 degree tip. And my material, I'll leave it on high speed steel. And we'll hit OK to that. And I'll just go to my tool paths and I'll go to my tool manager. And just like we did in lathe, I click this create new tool library button. And I'll again, I'll just call this Dave. And I have a library here with nothing in it. And I'll drag these tools into that library for future use. And I'll go to, uh, maybe I'll do one more tool path to add one in on the fly. I'll just do another contour going the other way. I'm in my Dave tools. I'll go into my lathe inch library, I'm sorry, my mill inch library again. Grab this three quarter inch end mill and I'll edit it. Maybe this tool has two flutes. It's a uh, ceramic. And I wanted to say that to my library, we'll say, well, I'll just go back in there. I could have just hit that save to library button when I made that tool. And pick here the Dave library. Now, when I go to import that in, again, we're to start a, another milling job here. I'll go to my library tools here, and I'll change my library to Dave, and I'll have the tools I used before with those settings that I saved with it. So I hope this is an informative video and helps you answer some questions about making a custom tool library. Remember, if, if you have any questions, to give us a call here at MacDeck Engineering. And uh, thank you, and have a great day.